Okay, so while that, while that other one's going, we're going to go ahead and make a new map. Um, we went in and purchased 6,000 points while we were gone and uh, entered a credit card and everything to do that. So let's go to new map. This highlighter software makes it not click sometimes. Um, so again, we just did the aerial stitch workflow. So let's go with the easiest of the georeferencing workflows and we'll, we'll see what the difference is. So let's do the GPS camera uh, workflow, which is uses the EXIF tags from the images uh, taken with your GPS camera, in this case, a Sony NEX5. So this is gonna be Seminole Valley EXIF. Hey, I already, I already did this. Um, pretty place with a plane again, but with EXIF tags. So, uh, yep, we'll make that public again. We kind of went over that before. Um, so next, uh, went over these. Um, again, all the images have to be taken from the same camera. They have to be the same resolution and they all have to be the same focal length. Um, if you have any questions about this, we went over it more in the aerial stitch version of, uh, or aerial stitch workflow uh, video. Um, so we're gonna come in here to the, select the images. Um, Again, this is the same images we went through on the other one. So um, it's got this couple pictures of the airplane. You can see that the overlap is pretty good. Um, so, all right, these all look good. So let's select all and open those. So they're all getting, they were all, again, there was that little message um, saying that they're all getting prepared. Um, okay, so we're good, so we can move forward. So we're reading one of, the, one of the images that we already uploaded. Again, that's a, a warning up here. Um, you know, this all looks good. We know it was that kind of camera. The resolution looks good, which is what matters here. Um, the location is, is, we think it's good so far. Um, so yep, that, that looks good. The, the resolution is the important part. Uh, hit next. Uh, we, we went through these last time we, we selected one, but this, there's one thing different here. So the EXIF tags must have less than 10 meters of accuracy, um, which means they need to be within 10 meters of where it actually is. Um, GPS is not perfect. Uh, GPS receivers are not perfect. They, um, there's some noise associated with them. And, and you know, if you ever turned one on you, and just sat either inside or somewhere with a bad signal, it kind of looks like you're walking all over the place even though you're not. Um, so that the data that goes in here must be good. Um, we know that some cameras don't give very good EXIF data. Um, DJI's cameras, for example, um, they give their uh, GPS location. So it looks like their EXIF tags are, are populated, but they do it in degrees, minutes, and seconds with no decimal seconds. And what that does is kind of limit, uh, limit it to a couple hundred uh, meters of accuracy. And so as you fly along, it's kind of the same point, the same point, the same point. And then when you get a couple hundred meters away, it jumps to another point and that messes up the processing. So we don't allow uh, DJI uh, vision cameras to be uploaded for EXIF processing. Um, they can be done with the base map or manual as it says over in the tool tip. But um, you know, as we find cameras that don't give sufficient uh, uh, EXIF GPS location accuracy, uh, we're going to be adding that, adding it to a list of, you know, that it basically rejects you from this workflow. Um, so these are all the same, the oblique images, the 50% overlap, and the cruising altitude. Um, images are the only ones that should be included. Um, so, you know, these all look good except for the orientation thing. Um, that doesn't matter so much on this one either. So I confirm that these images are good. Let's go forward. Um, point calculation, it's similar. Um, we didn't delete one this time. Um, so it's probably gonna be over 52. Yep, so it's 52 points. Um, you, know, you can follow this math through. Um, it's interesting though, because we had 50 points remaining and uh, we had subscription points being used as 50 because that's how many we had. And then two points of purchased points. Um, it always tries to use the subscription points first and then it uses the purchase points. Uh, if, if we had not gone and purchased the 6,000 purchase points, this would have 
not even allowed you to do the normal because it would have required two more points. It would have brought up the buy points box down there, which we can no longer make show up because we have too many points. But, um, you know, so that, this gives you a breakdown of how many of each are being used. Um, so you kind of just have to, before you go through this whole thing, you have to know, okay, do I have enough points for this or not? So go over here, next. So this is a new step in the EXIF georeferencing workflow that um, requires us to do the geo, or to, to kind of verify a georeference. So it basically says, is this where the images were taken? So we can zoom in here and say, oh, wow, okay, look at that. Here's that airplane uh, that's in the images, and here's that weird L-shaped barn. Um, so, okay, yep, this, this looks like the spot. You know, you, you were probably there taking the data, so, um, you know, you need to kind of visually verify that this is right. What this is doing is making sure that uh, we are reading the XF tags properly and that the uh, tags are not pointing you to the other side of the world or something like that. So you just have to agree um, if you want to move forward. If it's wrong, don't agree because it's it's not going to be, the processing will get messed up. Um, and you know we, we we'll have to charge you the points. You know you're agreeing that that, that this is where it was taken. So um, so to move forward, you have to agree. Um, that should oh there you go. So you have to click that and then we go forward. So um, again, the final review. It's a little bit bigger upload this time because there was one more image. Um, you know same thing. So we're gonna go here. We're gonna upload. And we're going to cut this out and just come back after uh, the whole thing is. Okay, so we're just about fully uploaded uh, on our uh, camera GPS EXIF tag based uh, georeferencing of the Seminole Valley site. So um, it's basically looking at the images, it's checking uh, whether the sizes matched what you, <laughs> what you agreed to. Again, if not, it'll kind of boot back and be like, nope, um, and you'll lose the points anyway. Um, so, you know, it hasn't started yet, um, went through this on the, uh, aerial stitch, but you can, uh, adjust the email notifications, the public hosting, uh, put it in the gallery. Let's put this one in the gallery and, uh, you know, change the attribution link, um, change notes on, uh, on how you collected the data and things like that. So let's go back out here and you can maybe see. Okay, so our previous job is complete, um, and this one actually has just kicked off. So if we go back to it, it's currently being processed. Um, so it'll be done in, in let's see, uh, you know, 40 minutes or so. It'll probably be less than that. So, you know, again, now, now we're kind of looking at a fully populated dashboard. Uh, we lost, you know, that processing took 50 points of uh, subscription points and then two points out of our... Uh, purchase point total, and you can kind of see that here. Um, the one that finished before is now available in our public maps and then our uh, or completed maps uh, list. But then here in our, our pending uh, list, you can kind of see the, uh, the one that's, that's still pending. So um, while that one's going, we're going to go off and do our, our, uh, our next workflow. Okay, so we just uploaded the uh, the base map georeference set, and it's it's off and running. Um, and while we did that one, while we uploaded it, uh, the EXIF georeference set is completed. So we have our completed stitch, our completed EXIF georef, and then the base map based georeferencing uh, stitch. That one's off and cooking. So just to show the difference between the stitch it's, the stitch um, job that we did which has the black background and the random rotation. Um, if we compare that with the EXIF GRF, we now have a, a, a base map as a background. And as you zoom in, you can see that it matches up pretty well. You know, um, we're off by a foot or two um, in, in some places it looks like. But, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty good for, for very little effort. Um, you now have this overlay um, of very, very high resolution um, uh, imagery. So this is what we're looking at right here is our images, you know, the ones we uploaded. So this is a leaf, you know, and 
you can come over here and turn this off and look at the background image and it's you know totally totally unviewable so whereas we have probably four two or three pixels on this on this leaf that represent this leaf you now have you know four or five pixels that represent the entire road uh, that that leaf was laying on so you know we're, lo we're looking at some pretty different um, you know ground sampling distances which is you know we, we go into detail about that in the point estimator video um, but you know it's 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 much more detailed um, and you can see that it lines up pretty well so the exif georeferencing is is the easy one to do and if you don't care about this little discontinuity over here um, you'd be totally fine. Find me easy.